Hi, today we're going to be putting the carburetors back together um, off of a Kawasaki Zephyr 750C1991. We pulled them apart because basically it wouldn't start up very well from cold. We discovered these little jets were blocked. So we, we did go out and purchase some of these little um, carburetor tools, like a thin rod. One was clear, it was... Um, but the others were blocked up. So we took them down to Tony Botto in Didcot, Oxfordshire, and we've had them ultrasonically cleaned. They're now all, all clear, so hopefully this is going to be uh, starting up a lot better. So what we're going to do, first off, um, I must tell you about the jets. You've got the main jet and the pilot jet. Now, all the pilot jets are the same, but the main jet on the outside two are 88, and the two inner ones are 92. I've known people to put them all back together and it's not running very well because they've mixed the jets up. It's, it's just because of the temperatures. So just be aware when you take these jets out, make sure you put them to one side and put them exactly the same as you've taken them out. Right, let's get going. So I'm gonna start by putting this, um, this is the guide, this is what the needle floats on, but that goes, butts up against the main jet. You can't get it wrong really, that's uh, concave and the others, that, the up one's concave and this convex and that seats in there like that um, so we just plonk that down in there like that. this is eight millimeter let me just do it firm but don't over tighten it and put the needle on you need a nice thin screw driver there I like to get the biggest screwdriver I can in there because you don't want to damage the jet. Push down and just pinch it up. That's it. So we've done that. And so we'll put the float on. These are new needles in here. Quite handy because they're not adjustable. You ain't got to mess about with float heights really because it's plastic. Take the pin. Pinch it just slide in there like that now this is the mixture screw so first off the spring secondly the little tiny washer these are all new because we, we rebuilt them once and then we found out that it wouldn't start so I don't know incompetent or what but there you go so and I what I do because you've got the rub, you've got the rub of the springs and the washer. So hold the carburetor upside down and push it on. Rather, just use my nail there. Rather than trying to all feed it down, just do those couple of things. So that started, that'd be fine. So all I'm going to do, I'm just going to screw that in. I've not done it home yet. I'll, I'll set them all the same. They're two and a quarter turns out, I believe. So that's that. It really is quite a simple little job. I've got some rubber grease here. There you go. People are going, hmm, use that, thing, use that. But I'd just like to put it on the, just a little t touch, just to keep the rubber sealing. I don't put it everywhere. And that is so sticky, this rubber grease. It's for brakes and stuff like that. But it just makes a difference. Put that in there. Mm, he says quietly, confidently. That will pop in there. And once you've got the grease in it, see, so you can put it upside down on the gas, it's not going to fall out. <laughs> he says. Right, so you put that on there like that. And the four screws. Are the, are the longer ones. Phillips screwdriver.
we've taken all the electrics off the, the um, preheat as well, just to get them out of the way. So that one's done. So we'll, we'll put the top half back together. The needle. So I've, I've already checked the diaphragms. The best way to check a diaphragm is we get it up like that and you just tug it a little bit. If it's got a little hole in it or a split, you'll see the light shining through normally. And it's best if you switch. You can do it outside or whatever. But normally it will run extremely rich. If that's going, it would be running rough. And that's, I would normally go to to the um, diaphragm. Something like that. But I had a, an XS650 not that long ago and that was doing, doing it. And you can't really get these wrong because they're offset. As you see, so also when you put this little gadget, there's a little hole down the bottom there for the um, vacuum. So just make sure that these legs are not blocking the hole when you put it down in there. So you can just stagger it, and we can see I've staggered it if you can see down in there. I don't know. So we just plonk this little thing in here, just don't, don't force it. Just let it, it'll find its centre because it's going to go into the jet. So, there you go. Take this. It is always nice if there's markings, like on a Honda or something like that sometimes. They've got um, the KN on the, on the top or anything. I just like to get them all the same so it, it just looks nicer. One of these screws, uh, one of these has only got three screws in it at the moment because it's got the the choke uh, cable bracket connects to it but we're only going to show you this one and next time when we come back um, we'll have them all together and then we'll um, I don't know if we're going to film us putting it in today or not um, I'll be down to the cameraman and uh, how enthusiastic we are about putting them in today but, um, so that's basically that's that one done and you've got three more to do but do bear in mind about those jets of different sizes when you're putting them back together i will i will set the mixture screw for you now just so you know i'm sure you know if you <coughs> if you can pull a carburetor apart you can put it back together it's not rocket science Right, so let me get a little bit smaller screwdriver. So don't go mad when you're put, screwing this down. You know, it doesn't want to be, that's just firm. So we're going to go half, one, one and a half, two, and one quarter that's it that's the mixture set that should be fine now i'm going to um, put the others back together right so we've just finished the last one just tighten these last four screws down and i've got to put uh, the mixture screw. i did do the mixture screw after i put it all together we do that now together uh, again because it's easier so you ain't got everything else floating about just tip that out there um so spring washer rubber hold on that tip it upside down shove it in there luckily i've got a little bit of a nail just half a turn just to start it turn it over I'll set this one, I've set the others. I, I know I did do the first one, but I'll show you again. So don't do it too tight, but just at home. So that's on us, if you get in there, cameraman, see the screw, it's on an angle. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go half, that's at an angle, one, one and a half, two, and then I'm going to go quarter and that's about it. There you go. Right. All we're going to do, we're going to put the 
the slide back in. There's a little bit of wear on this particular one. Yeah, that's no, good there. Don't forget that plastic thing that's already in there that the spring goes into. Don't forget, don't force them down. Don't force them. Let, just let it there. So it's just slid in. Put the spring in over there. Pop the top on. Into there. There you go. It's amazing the amount of people that are going up and down the road. We must be a hundred yards or so from the road. And uh, you can hear these boys with their cars with loud ex loud exhausts. And uh, yeah, we all get slagged off on our motorbikes for having loud exhausts, don't we? Yeah, terrible. Never mind. Yes, I know I'm using an open-ended screwdriver just to put these in, but it is small and I'm not, and I'm just to get them going. As you can see, this one here, where my thumb is, just there, it's where the bracket goes for the for the choke cable. That's why there's not a screw in there, any of the eagle eyed ones there. Just tighten these up. We're not going to show you a video of um, putting them on because there's loads on the internet how to get them on to the um, thing. They're a bit of a flap. Um, but we will show you um, when we start her up. Thanks for watching.